I've always liked when other YouTubers, you know, do a quick bookshelf tour. Uh, my bookshelf kind of grew based on the views of other people's. I think what I have is like no other bookshelf. Welcome back to the Muscle Code YouTube channel. This is the number one self-help book in my top five list uh, video series. And we're gonna start off with a shout out and an honorable mention. So the shout out goes to a book called Mad Genius by Randy Gage. And it's, it's, un, it's an unremarkable book. It's very, you know, ho-hum, just a basic, you know, entrepreneurial self-help book. Um, still a good book, but nothing amazing. But when I read this book, I got the idea or the, I truly got the idea to write my own book and start my own business while I was reading this book. Th those two projects were written in this note, in the, in the margins when I was reading this book. So to judge a top five self-help book, you know, what's really important, the effect it has on you or the quality of the book. And this book had the effect on me in terms of the idea to write my own book and to start my own business, which I've completed both of those tasks. And this book, the ideas were born while reading this book based on a couple of things that he said. So, you know, what, what's it come down to? The, the quality of the book or the effect it has on you? I don't know, but I wanted to give a shout out to Mad Genius. And also just an honorable mention to Robert Greene's books, specifically Mastery. He's wrote, I've read all his books, um, the Laws of Seduction, The Laws of War. Um, he even wrote one with 50 Cent. And But Mastery is my favorite because it's just the topic that I'm most interested in out of all his topics. I'm like, I'm just into, you know, people who are the best at what they do, who, you know, who master their subjects. And this is just, this should, book should be taught in schools. It's just, it's a great, you know, textbook type of thing. Um, da Vinci's and he does a, a thing on Da Vinci, on Einstein, on, on Darwin. So I just, it didn't make my top five list. It was a little too textbooky and a little bit, you know, too long to make my top five, but I just wanted to give it a shout out that it's, he, he, he I like Robert Greene's books for, you know, serious self-help. He digs deep into the, uh, into the content. So, uh, mastery gets an honorable mention. And now on to the number one book. And my top five self-help books. And this is, it's, it's a unique book. It's a unique book. There's nothing really, I've never read anything else like it. It's a, one of the major, you know, when like, you know, people have influences, artists have influences. This was an influence, a major influence of the muscle code. I wanted the muscle code, the book I wrote, wrote to kind of be the war of art in the fitness self-help genre. So my number one self-help book, and my top five list is The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. He wrote a couple books of this style. Another one is called Turning Pro. And another one's called Do the Work. And that's basically what this book is all about. Doing the work and turning pro. It's, it's a short book. It's only 25,000 words. Only 25,000 words. And it's not really like a coherent narrative. It's kind of like little short stories and a little couple blurbs. But you know what? The message gets across, um, and this is really a book about you know beating procrastination, like getting down and whatever your goals are, whatever your dreams are, you know fighting the resistance. He talks about resistance, and and getting it done, like being a pro versus an amateur, separating the wannabes from the people who actually do it. And this book really, you know, you know the fundamentals of this book were ingrained in me. And, you know, when I was writing the muscle code, it, you know, it's not easy when you're, you're by yourself on Saturday morning and you need to like go in there and, and fight for an hour. But The War of Art is a book that keeps you on task to sit down at your computer and to write or to, you know, get to the gym and work out or, or to do your YouTube video. This book will, you know, get you in line to, to do it. And, I, and I'll leave it off with this, you know, lasting impression. He talks about the hardest, and I'll use writing since we're talking about books and things like that. The hardest thing about writing is not actually writing. It's sitting down and, and dedicated and doing it. So sitting down to write is the hard part. Writing is easy. 
So this book, The War of Art, is really about the challenge, the mental challenge of committing, um, defeating procrastination, and just being a pro. And uh, that's why it, it's a very like, you know, quaint, you know, kind of like kick in the butt. But you know what? I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with my decision to award it the number one spot. And like I said, he has two other books that are similar in the same vein called Do the Work and Turning Pro, which are also excellent. So, but The War of Art gets mine because I like, I like, you know, treating art almost like, you know, people think sports is tough and you have to suffer, you have to fight in sports and, and that physical pursuits, but you need to fight just as much in the artistic endeavor. So War of Art, my number one book in my top five list. And um, next time I think we're gonna do a, uh, the Game of Thrones top five, uh, ranking the top five videos in the next, in the next one. So uh, stay tuned for that and thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you back. So I've always liked when other YouTubers, you know, do a quick bookshelf tour. Uh, my bookshelf kind of grew based on the views of